Hi, my name is Karthik and I'm from executeautomation.com and welcome to part 10 of our Raspberry Pi 3 video series. And this is going to be a Raspberry Pi 3 with Windows IoT video series because from this particular video, we are going to talk about working with Windows 10 IoT, installing Windows IoT on Raspberry Pi and how to run programs of .NET, something like a console application or an ASP.NET application on Raspberry Pi Windows 10 IoT with .NET Core 2.0. So let's get started. Installation requirement of Linux distro that we discussed in our part 3 of this video series was something like this. We need a memory card, a Raspbian OS or event mate operating system, noops, HDMI cable, monitor or a TV, keyboard and mouse and optional internet. Of course, monitor or TV is not required if you know how to configure Raspberry Pi using the network connectivity and then perform the operation. So these are the different installation requirements for Linux distro version of Raspberry Pi that we discussed in our part 3. But the installation requirement for the Windows 10 IoT is very very simple. All we require is a memory card with at least 6 GB of space and a good internet connectivity. So this is what is required. Because Windows 10 IoT is much sophisticated environment where you can perform a lot of operation as like Ubuntu Mate but with limited functionality because in Windows 10 IoT you don't really have a graphical user interface or it's a stripped down version of Windows where you can just run some kind of process and you can connect with Windows 10 only by means of a PowerShell console or using the portal of Windows 10 IoT that we will be discussing in this video. So these are the only two installation requirements for Windows 10 by itself. So the preparation of Windows 10 IoT is very very simple. All you have to do is this. We download the Windows 10 IoT dashboard and the rest is much simpler when well compared to the Ubuntu distro as I said before. So you can go to the https colon double slash developer.microsoft.com slash en hyphen us slash windows slash IoT slash docs slash IoT dashboard. So this is the place where we can download the IoT dashboard and we can install the dashboard in our machine and then we can start preparing the memory card and then do the installation of Windows 10 on the memory card. So it's very very simple by itself. So let's quickly see this in action and understand how things work. So for that I'm going to flip to Chrome browser. Alright so I'm going to open the Chrome browser and as I said I'm going to search for what is called as a Windows 10 IoT dashboard and you can see this is the one which I was talking about the Windows 10 IoT core dashboard and you can just download this dashboard from here and you can see the setup is going to be downloaded and once you open this the setup is pretty much easy it is actually a application which will be downloaded from the internet and it will start the application you can see that this is the dashboard which I was actually talking about and you can see there is a my devices option which is going to list all the raspberry pi which is connected within your network which is nothing but my network and then you can see there is a set up a new device option so basically the set up a new device option is what we are actually going to look for you can see that we have uh, the device type raspberry pi 2 and 3 selected by default you can also choose any device you have and we are going to work with raspberry pi 2 or and 3 so i'm going to select this option and you can select the Windows 10 IoT Core or you can also choose the Windows 10 Insider Preview if you want but I'm going to work with the stable version for now and you can see this is automatically showing my memory card which is available in my machine so this is the memory card which I have it is a 32 GB of uh, memory space SD card so it is automatically detected for me and this is the machine name which is the default one and you can also see that it has automatically chosen the network which is available in my machine or in my home so I have also selected that which means it is automatically going to configure the profile for me in the Windows 10 IoT as well so that that particular profile can be used to get connected along with this particular host machine right so what does it mean is if my machine is going to be on this network the KK shine the V network then it is going to connect the Raspberry Pi along with this same network as well right that simple it is so this is the very simple uh, device setup option that you can do as compared to the Ubuntu version that we saw in our previous video where we have to do pretty much same kind of operation but we have to do with some different 
softwares, but here it's all in one place. And if you want to connect to an Azure, of course, you can connect with the Azure as well. You can connect your IoT device to Azure. You can start working from there. And there is some, try some example options, some Hello World code and Nero 3D printers and all those options. I'm not gonna really going to deep dive into this for now. So our focus is going to be on the setup of a new device. So I'm going to do that. So I'm going to set a quick password here so that I can access the Raspberry Pi using that. And then I'm going to accept it and then I'm going to download that. It's going to say that it's going to erase the SD card. So I'm going to hit continue, which means it's going to erase my SD card and it's going to start installing. And you can see that download Windows 10 IoT core is already complete. And then it's flashing my SD card and then it's going to start installing Windows 10 IoT core in my SD card. So it says it's unpacking and then I'm going to hit yes. So you can see it's going to apply the images for me. It's very, very straightforward and simple. And I really feel that Microsoft is really improving a lot in terms of the IoT core area because I feel like the IoT is going to be more focused in upcoming days from Microsoft because in our upcoming videos of this series, we'll see like how we can run a C sharp code and an ASP.NET code on the Raspberry Pi and how to access an ASP.NET application from a Raspberry Pi into our host machine. So I really see there is a future for Raspberry Pi in Windows IoT. All right, so I'm gonna close these options which is coming in here. And the reason is because uh, if you go to this program, you can see there are different kinds of uh, drive coming in. So all of these are actually created by the IoT dashboard, right? So it says your SD card is ready. Just insert your SD card into the device and get connected to the Ethernet and then Wi-Fi if you have any. And then you can see in the My Device option in this particular tab. So I'm going to quickly run over to my Raspberry Pi. I'm going to insert the SD card which we just prepared and then I'll be back in the My Device tab. There we go. Now you can see that I have my Raspberry Pi 3 with this particular operating system version that we installed and this is the IP address of my Raspberry Pi and this is the name that we gave while installing or setting up a new device, right? So that's the D Raspberry Pi that I have right now. So you can just right click and you can see there is a opening a device portal, launch PowerShell, launch IoT remote client, open network share and there are so many other options that is very very easy and handy for us to see or connect to the Raspberry Pi much easier than with the Ubuntu Mate operating system because in Ubuntu Mate we have to connect either via PT or SSH to perform the connectivity and run a command over there. But here it's all available within this IoT dashboard out of the box, right? So I'm going to just right click and then I'm going to hit open the device in portal and you can see this is the device portal of our Raspberry Pi. So if you want to see what's really happening in the Raspberry Pi UI, you can just click this capture screenshot. There we go. It shows some information there. Hi there, welcome to Windows 10 IoT Core. So it says some information here uh, for connectivity and all those things. Actually, I'm not really going to do all these options here. So I'm just going to uh, skip this for now. I'm just going to show you what are the other cool things which is available here. You can see there is something called as App Manager. And there is a file explorer, which is the file explorer of the Windows 10 IoT. And you can see there is a quick run samples. So you can run the Hello World program that we saw in the dashboard. Uh, you can do that. And you can turn your uh, Raspberry Pi as an internet radio and all those things. Similarly, you can see what is the process which is running in the Raspberry Pi right now. So it is quickly showing you a real time information on what is really happening there. And also you can debug the Raspberry Pi uh, by selecting you know, which process you're going to debug and also you can see the connectivity, Bluetooth, network and all those options. This is how the very simple setup of the Raspberry Pi itself is. So if you want to see the exact same thing from the PowerShell, I'm just going to go over to the Raspberry Pi dashboard and then I'm going to hit the launch PowerShell. You can see that it is going to connect to the Raspberry Pi uh, from the PowerShell and it's asking for the credential. Again, we can just give the credential that we gave while setting up. So it is going to make a handshake from my host Windows 10 operating system with the Raspberry Pi running from the other side. There we go. It got connected. So now if I quickly see uh, what is there in the directory, you can see that it is the crash dump data, uh, program files, windows and users. So this is the uh, information is actually coming from the Raspberry Pi. 
So you can also see uh, what are the uh, process which is running. Get process. I don't know if it really works. Yep, it is working. So this is the PowerShell command which is going to show you what are the process being running in the Raspberry Pi. So you can stop a process, start a process, everything from the PowerShell command itself. Right? So this is how you can perform an installation of Windows 10 IoT on Raspberry Pi 3. In our next video, we'll talk how to run a simple c -sharp code or a console application code on Raspberry Pi. Once again, thank you very much for watching this video and have a great day.